Hi guys, welcome back. Denzel Washington made headlines last week when he revealed he kissed another male actor in Gladiator 2. Denzel said the kiss ended up on the cutting room floor. His gay kiss was cut because the filmmakers got chicken and they were not ready for that yet. Now the director is exposing Denzel. The director tells TMZ the kiss was totally unscripted and that Denzel improvised the scene. The source said the kiss was not in the script and it was done multiple times. So the kiss or kisses ended up on the cutting room floor as a story choice. Wow, production just exposed Denzel. The kiss was never in the movie. It was never in the script. So it was Denzel's idea to add the kiss into the movie. He kissed the actor multiple times. And then he wants to come out talking about, oh, yeah, they cut my, my gay kissing scene. Oh, and they're a bunch of chicken. They weren't ready for that yet. And this whole time... The kiss was not even part of the script. It was Denzel who forced himself on the actor and trying to improvise by kissing the actor multiple times. Why would anyone, a straight man, want to add something that's not even in a movie like that? Why would a straight man want to put a gay scene, a gay kissing scene in a movie? Denzel, what is going on? I mean, he was not even compromised. He willingly, he wanted it. He he was the one who tried to have a kissing scene. I mean, what is going on? Denzel, are you trying to get ahead of something that could be coming out? Because that's the only thing that makes sense. Because, you know, he was very good friends with Diddy. You know, last month... There were reports that, you know, he had his own issues with Diddy publicly uh, in 2003. You know, they said Denzel reportedly stood up to Diddy at an all-night party, okay? They said it's unclear why Denzel was upset with Diddy, but he reportedly had enough and confronted Diddy. Denzel screamed, you don't respect anyone, the insider recalled. Shortly after the incident, Denzel and his wife quickly left the party. Denzel and his wife, Pauletta, had been partying until dawn with Diddy. And they had seen something and stormed out. That's what the source said. It's unclear what the couple witnessed at the event. So you see, this is the mind games. So this happened in 2003 and no one heard about it, right? But because of Diddy's situation, Denzel want to distance himself from Diddy by having a so-called source come out and say, oh, there was a time Denzel was partying it up all night with Diddy. And he confronted Diddy and said, oh, you don't respect anyone. And then he stormed out. Really? Like, why? <laughs> why do we need to know that now? And you know what I mean? You see the mind games that they play? So this little situation right there is him showing us or want us to think that, oh, you see, one time I did stood up to Diddy. But Denzel, we've heard a lot about Denzel attending Diddy's parties, okay? Denzel and Diddy are very close friends, okay? You know what? This is what's crazy about this gay kissing scene that he tried to force into the movie, this is the same Denzel who never kissed any women on screen because of the respect for his wife, right? He claimed he never kissed any female actress, okay, because of his wife. But now he's okay with kissing or trying to, <laughs> trying to kiss a male actor, so <laughs> this is crazy. So to me, it's like he wants to do something like this 
to maybe a favor for what's to come. I don't know because it's like, what? It just is crazy. He made his whole career pretending to be a stand-up guy, right? Giving advice and all this, like he's this, you know? And then let me tell you, people are thinking like Denzel is this, like because he doesn't, he never kiss a woman on screen, that he's this stand up guy. No, there always been whispers about him cheating left and right with his co stars, okay? Like Eva Mendez, uh, yeah. A lot of his co-stars, this guy was knocking down. I don't mean knocking down like, you know, like violently, but you know what I mean, okay? He was, yeah. So Denzel is not this, like, morally, like, he's not this, no, he's not that guy. He's really a prick, okay? And he's friends with Diddy, so that should tell you. So, yeah, and then now he's he want to force kissing scenes, gay kissing scenes, and <laughs> now they had to come out and expose him, saying, wait a second, no, 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 it was never scripted. You try to add the kissing scene into the movie. <laughs> then Zell is trying to come out, well, was trying to come out doing filming of this movie, <laughs> and it backfired. So, yeah, he either was trying to come out as a gay man filming this movie (laughs) or he did that for a favor, you know, for maybe something that could be coming out. So by doing that, they're going to sweep it under the rug because, come on, how do you, you know, make your whole career this whole time? not doing anything like that, not even kissing women on screen, to now you forcing yourself, you adding gay kissing scenes that's not even in the script. Yeah, something's not right. So, but yeah, but we're going to watch. We're going to sit back and watch what comes out because it's like everybody's a suspect, man. Everybody. Nobody's clean. Everyone's hands are dirty, okay, in Hollywood, okay? So we're going to sit back and watch. Watch that itch crumble. Watch it fall. Babylon is falling. So, (laughs) anyway, while promoting his new movie, Gladiator 2, in London, England, Denzel shared his thoughts about American politics. Denzel says... Both political parties in America are manipulating people. Denzel responded to a question about the 2024 presidential election. Against all odds, Republican Donald Trump defeated Democratic candidate Kamala Harris on November 5th. He says, it's all politics, all promises unkept. And now, with the information age, the way it is, if anything, left, right, whatever had better learn how to use those tools to manipulate the people. There was a great line in the first movie I did, 1981's Carbon Copy, Power to the People. Yeah, they had it once. It was called the Stone Age. He continued, we're all slaves to information now. We really are. We're all slaves. So whatever you feel about the leaders, like this guy's crazy or the other one is sane, you would better realize you are being manipulated by both sides. Period. Yeah. So go to the movies. Yeah. Two wings of the same bird. I've said this, I believe this. You know what? This reminds me of, uh, you know, George Carlin, the American comedian. He died, but he said, wait, let me see. He said, forget the politicians. The politicians are put there to give you the idea that you have freedom of choice. You don't. You have no choice. You have owners. They own you. They own everything. They own all the important land. They own and control the corporations. They've long since bought and paid for the Senate, the Congress, the state houses, the city halls. They got the judges in their back 
pockets and they own all the big media companies so they control just about all of the news and information you get to hear they got you by the Balls. They spend billions of dollars every year lobbying, lobbying to get what they want. Well, we know what they want. They want more for themselves and less for everybody else. But I'll tell you what they don't want. They don't want a polit- uh, population of citizens capable of critical thinking. They don't want well-informed, well-educated people capable of critical thinking. They're not interested in that. That doesn't help them. That's against their interests. That's right. So again, it doesn't matter who wins. Both parties have their own agenda to fulfill, okay? So, and they will. They just go about it different ways. And you will soon see all of this, okay? Um. So Denzel and this whole gladiator gay kiss you know what's crazy Denzel been you about did he and the the kids and uh you know and he said nothing he said nothing but instead you know what he did he had a fake report come out a fake source the source was Denzel talking about oh in 2003 Denzel screamed at Diddy at one of his parties, and then he left with his wife. What? You see how dumb they think people are? They really do, okay? So you scream at Diddy, but you still did not warn anybody. You scream at Diddy about what? What did you scream at him about? What, you didn't want to have a threesome that night? What, your, your, your booty hurt that night? You didn't want any more? I mean, <laughs> like, come on. It's the stupid report. Like, okay, so that's your way of trying to distance yourself from Diddy. In 2003, you screamed at him about something, and then you left, and you still remain friends. So <laughs> they think people are stupid. So I don't know. Denzel is 69 years old. It's, it was shocking to people. Well, not to me, because nothing these people do shocks me. Nothing they can do could ever shock me, right? But it's shocking to others that, you know, that they're saying that he's sold out. You know, he's doing these gay stuff because, you know, it's the rite of passage in Hollywood, you know, to make it and to keep it, to keep the fame. There are certain things that are required of these these puppets, right? Um... So it's just great to me it's crazy because his whole career he would brag about never kissing any women on screen because he loved his wife right but now at 69 it's like okay <laughs> yeah I want to kiss a man I didn't want to kiss no women on screen Throughout my whole career, but now I want to kiss a man. I want to kiss a man so bad that I'm going to force the kissing scene. I'm going to add the kissing scene, the gay kissing scene, into the script. (laughs) And even then, they still cut it. They left that scene out. How humiliating is that? (laughs) You did all that. Because you wanted to get some type of props from, I don't know, the the higher ups or something. And they still cut the scene. They still said, nope. Nope, we don't want, <laughs> we don't want it. <laughs> we don't want your gay kissing scene. You can keep that at 69. <laughs> anyway, you guys, what are your thoughts? What do you think about Denzel? for saying this kissing scene into the script and the director still said nope nope <laughs> what are your thoughts on that um yeah leave it in the comments you guys thank you for your support don't forget to like this video and subscribe thank you and i'll see you on the next one peace